Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. This is the fourth lecture in a series of uh, lectures about what values uh, trigonometric functions take at basic angles. Um, now, the basic angles are not only your familiar 30, 45, and 60, but also some um, derived basically from these all around the unit circle. And the unit circle is exactly the tool which I'm going to use to calculate the values of the basic functions, uh, of the trigonometric functions at basic angles. Uh, why? Well, because, again, there are many functions, many basic uh, angles, and uh, I'm not going to memorize everything. Uh, I'm trying to memorize the minimum information and then derive, based on some logic, uh, all other values. And that's exactly which, which I'm going to demonstrate uh, with cotangent, as I already did for sine and cosine and tangent in the previous lectures. So this is the lecture number four, cotangent. And uh, to calculate the values of uh, cotangent at the basic angles, which I have just presented here, uh, I need a unit circle. Uh, I need to represent these angles as points on the unit circle, find their coordinates, and then use the definition of the cotangent, which is um, abscissa over ordinate. Um, x coordinate divided by y coordinate of the point which represents the end. So, let's do it. And how can I derive basically all the values without memorizing everything? Now, I do have to remember something, and the only thing I remember is that in the right triangle, if the angle is uh, acute angle is 30 degrees, then the opposite catcher to this half of the hypotenuse. So this is the unit circle. So if this is my point, which has 30 degrees, I know that this particular catcher to is equal to half of the hypotenuse, Hypotenuse is 1, so this is 1 half. So this one is, from the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus 1 half squared is equal to 1 squared, right? x squared plus 1 half squared equal to 1, equals to 1 squared. So this is 1 quarter, uh, so this is 3 quarters. x is equal to square root of 3 over 2. So the coordinates of this point are, abscissa is equal to, square root of 3 over 2, and coordinate is 1 half. Now, this is an angle of P over, sorry, pi over 6, which is 30 degrees. So I've got that. Now, at 45 degrees, I have both I have both casualty the same because this is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees, right? So in this triangle, in this right triangle, my both casualty are the same, and to find their value is just to use Pythagorean theorem like this. This is x squared and this is x squared equals to one square. 2x squared is equal to 1, x is equal to uh, square root of 1 half, which is 1 uh, square root of 2 over 2. Which means that coordinates of this point are square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. This is pi over 4, which is 45 degrees. And the third basic angle in the first quadrant is 60 degrees, and if you will take a look at this triangle, this triangle, it's exactly the same as this triangle. One angle is 30 degree and another is 60. In this case, this is 60 and this is 30. Hypotenuses are the same, so the same hypotenuse, the same angle, so it's equal triangles. Um, congruent, I should say, contemporary uh, terminology. 
All right. Um, so the only difference is this is small catheters, uh, which is an ordinate, and the bigger catheters is abscissa. In this case, it's vice versa. The smaller one is abscissa, which is one half, and the bigger one is ordinate, which is square root of three over two. Now, equipped with this, now this is pi over three, which is 60 degrees. Now, equipped with this knowledge, which I did not really memorize, I memorized only one thing, that this particular catheter is equal to one half. Everything else is derived. Um, so, knowing this, I can start um, calculating the value of the uh, cotangent in this particular case uh, for other uh, basic angles in other quadrants. So, now let's go. 2 pi over 3. Two pi over three, which is one hundred and twenty degrees. Now, as you uh, see, this is ninety plus thirty, gives me one twenty. This is ninety minus thirty, gives me sixty. So these angles are symmetrical. Now, the symmetry of the angles. Uh, results basically um, it implies the symmetry of these endpoints as was proven in um, in the lecture which was about uh, what are the basic angles in the very beginning of the course of trigonometry which I had so these points are symmetrical relative to the y-axis now what does it mean it means they project onto the same ordinate so the ordinate are the same and as far as their abscissa is this and this, they are opposite in sign, but the same in absolute value because of the symmetry. So I will retain in this particular coordinate of this point to get to this one. I will retain an ordinate and I will change abscissa. Now, What's the cotangent? By definition, cotangent is abscissa divided by ordinate. So let's do it. Minus 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2 gives me minus 1 over square root of 3 or minus square root of 3 over 3. That's my cotangent for 2 pi over 3. Well, let's move on. This is 3 pi over 4. 3 pi over 4, which is 135 degrees. Now, same, same logic. 90 plus 45 gives me 135. 90 minus 45 gives me 45. So these points are symmetrical. The angles are symmetrical, therefore these points are symmetrical. And the symmetry gives me the same ordinate and opposite uh, abscissa. So it's uh, minus square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. And obviously, the cotangent, which is abscissa over ordinate, gives me mi minus 1. Next is 5 pi over 6, which is 150 degrees. Now, what's this? 150 is 90 plus 60. Now, 30 is 90 minus 60. So these points are symmetrical. So I retain the ordinate, but I change the value of the abscissa. Now, the ratio abscissa over ordinate would be minus square root of 3. Now, this next is, my, uh, is pi. Now, pi has coordinates minus 1, 0. Now, I cannot divide by zero, so the cotangent is not defined at this particular point. Next, minus pi over six. Minus pi over six, which is minus 30 degrees. And what is um, the symmetry in this case? 30 plus or 30 minus. So these two are symmetrical. Now, but these are 
points symmetrical relatively to the x-axis, which means abscissa will be the same. They are projecting um, uh, to the same point, but opposite uh, ordinates. So abscissa is the same, so it's square root of 3 over 2, but opposite minus 1 half uh, ordinate. And what's the cotangent, which is the ratio of abscissa over ordinate? It's minus square root of 3. Next, minus pi over 4, which is this, minus pi over 4, which is minus 45 degrees, which is symmetrical to plus 45 degrees. So the coordinates are, I retain my abscissa, which is square root of 2 over 2. I change the ordinate to an opposite sign. And the ratio of abscissa over ordinate would be minus 1. That's the value of the cotangent. Next is minus pi over 3, minus pi over 3, which is minus 60 degrees. Obvious symmetry with this guy, this plus 60 degrees. Retain abscissa, 1 half. Change ordinate, square root of 3 mi uh, over 2 is a minus sign. And the ratio is minus 1 over minus, uh, square root of uh, 3 is the same as square root of 3 over 3. Next is minus pi over 2, which is this one. It's minus pi over 2, which is minus 90 degrees. Now, the coordinate of this point, we don't really have to think about. 0 as uh, abscissa and minus 1 as ordinate. So their ratio abscissa to ordinate would be 0. OK, 2 pi over 3. Minus 2 pi over 3 which is minus 120 degree. Obvious symmetry with plus 2 pi over 3. So let's take a look at this one. Retain abscissa and change the ordinate to an opposite. So it's minus 1 half minus square root of 3 over 2. Now, what's the ratio of abscissa over ordinate? Well, both are negative, so the result is positive. It's 1 over square root of 3 or square root of 3 over 3. Next is minus 3 pi over 4, which is minus 135 degrees. Obvious symmetry with plus uh, 3 pi over 4. Uh, that's the wrong one. This one. With a plus 3 pi over 4. So I'll change the coordinate of this thing. I retain the abscissa minus square root of 2 over 2 and change the ordinate to the opposite, which is also minus square root of 2 over 2. So the ratio would be 1. Abscissa over ordinate, so cotangent is equal to 1 for minus 3 pi over 4. <clears throat> minus pi, 5 pi minus 5 pi over 6 which is minus 150 degrees, symmetrical to plus 150 degrees. So I will take these guys and retain minus square root of 3 over 2 abscissa, change ordinate to an opposite, divide one by another, and I will have square root of 3. That's the cotangent. And the last one, minus pi, which is this point, and that's the same thing as plus pi. And uh, since we cannot divide by 0, its uh, cotangent is undefined. All right, so that was the cotangent for basic angles around the circle. Um, again, remember uh, that you really can de derive all these values based on very few facts which you might actually remember, like the catheter's uh, opposite to the 30 degrees angle equal, equals to catheter the hypotenuse, but everything else is derived from the considerations of symmetry and the definition of the cotangent, which is, sine, uh, which is cosine divided by sine or abscissa divided by ordinate. 
So all you need is coordinates of all these basic um, uh, of the points which represent basic angles, and these coordinates are derived uh, based on symmetry. Um, I do suggest you to do it again just by yourself and check the results. Thanks very much.